other is what I'm saying. So I haven't really been checking it like that. It's not completely out of the way, but we do have to drive a little bit to get there. So I'll go do that, hit up a Dollar Tree or two, and um, come back home and record a empties video really quick. And hopefully we will go and pick up the groceries and stuff for Thanksgiving. I'm thinking though, here's what I have in mind for the menu. I know I always ramble a lot right here in the beginning, but here's what I have in mind for the menu. I'm thinking that we will have a small turkey breast, fresh green beans, because that's our vegetable of choice. Malon doesn't really eat too many other vegetables, so I always try to stick with what I know that she likes, what we both can eat. So fresh green beans, um, some kind of mashed potatoes, and gravy. I'm talking about some kind. Mashed potatoes and gravy. I want to make some deviled eggs. I've never made deviled eggs before. Um, so I'm going to have to call my mom and see exactly how she makes them because I want them to taste like hers. I know they won't taste exactly like that, but I want them to taste just like hers. And um, what else? it's the next day and i made it to the big dollar tree i was going to record in here but it is a bunch of people in here so i really don't feel like doing that so i'll probably catch up with y'all later i really need to organize my craft room and hey stuff like that also i wanted to show y'all that i took my nails off my acrylic nails i want to let my real nails breathe for a little bit and i need to file and buff them down so they don't look as rough and ragged but my long i mean my um my natural nails have grown out quite a bit i did have to shape them up a little bit because they're a little raggedy on the ends but i don't know how i feel about growing out my natural nails i really don't like having long natural nails but i like long fake nails which really doesn't make any sense hey y'all i am looking rough today but i'm headed to target to do some light christmas shopping while i have it on my mind kind of got a little bit of a late start I got up earlier when Madeline went to work and then I messed around and laid back down and went to sleep woke up it was 11 something and I was like I gotta get out of this house and do what I gotta do so now I'm just out doing that I already went to Dollar Tree for the week so that's done not going back anymore until December I was just thinking earlier you know this is really I know the camera is kind of crooked sorry y'all this is really like the most people are really the most depressed during this time of the year around the holidays and I just feel for those people like I was definitely one of those people who just felt like they didn't have anybody and this was in a really bad place during the holidays I still get I still get a little bit sad because my dad is not around and just little stuff I get I get upset about my dad and then I get upset about stuff that doesn't really matter during this time of the year. What matters is family and stuff like that. So I still get like that a little bit, but I just, my heart goes out to those people that really don't have anybody. And during the holidays, they're lonely. Like, 
they have no one you know they don't have a significant other they don't have much family and I just can't imagine going through that you know you see all these people especially if you're someone that's on social media which if you are someone that really doesn't have anybody just stay off of social media especially things like Facebook and Instagram just stay off of those around the holidays because all it's going to do is just make you feel worse and that's the honest to God truth but like those people that don't have anyone I just can't imagine how they feel seeing everybody on those other social media sites with their families during the holidays and taking pictures and eating food and just all that kind of stuff like I can't imagine how you must feel I just say avoid social media if you can just avoid it so you don't make yourself feel worse and my heart just goes out to you I do say I will say though that that's why YouTube is sometimes a great thing as far as a social media platform because there are other people out there like you that probably don't have anyone and they're probably going to be recording during the holidays because that's like company to them or that's you know therapy for them So this is what our cart is looking like so far, as far as the stuff that we have. This is for the tater tot casserole, for the double eggs, and I just like sausage gravy, turkey gravy, some fruit for the week, a sack of potatoes that eat with different meals, and we have the bacon. Hey y'all, so I am here to actually end out the vlog and start another one. I did not do much today. It's Sunday. I got up and went to Dollar General this morning and got some um, washing detergent, some sponges, because I didn't get my sponges at Dollar Tree because I forgot. <laughs> and what else did I get? I got a can of corn because we wanted to do like some green beans and corn with something that we're having for dinner either tonight or tomorrow. I know tonight we're having a, um, a tater tot casserole. That's what we're having for dinner tonight. When Madeline gets off, she's going to make that. Uh, she makes a good tater tot casserole, y'all. It's so freaking good. For the rest of the night, the only thing I have planned is I have to finish up a video that I have to do for one of my classes, my sustainable development class. And I really, really, really need to do some planner videos. I have not uploaded on that channel in about a week and I'm so behind. And I really feel like actually doing some planning and a little bit of paper crafting. So I'm going to work on some videos for that and hopefully have those up all this week. And edit this vlog and hopefully get it up on Monday evening. And then um, on Thanksgiving... We are going to vlog. It's probably just going to be a chill vlog because it's just going to be us here eating for Thanksgiving. Me and Madeline both have to work all the way up until Thanksgiving Day. So it's really just going to be a chill day for us. We're not going to do much. We're going to eat. I'm not sure if we'll go to any Black Friday sales on Thursday itself because I really, I really don't like that. I, pr I wish everything was where it used to be and all the Black Friday stuff was actually on Friday. You know, that's how I grew up with it. But we'll probably go out to some places on Friday. You never know. I'm ready for Bath and Body Works to send out the email about their candle sale. That's what I'm ready for. So I can stock back up on some candles because I'm down to my last Bath and Body Works candle. And um, because during the sale last year, I only got a few. And then I went to the semi-annual sale, I think. Was that the semi-annual? Where it was like the middle of the year? I'm not sure, but I went to that one and I got a few more, but now we're down to just one more of those and we had started buying some Walmart candles just in case the three wick Walmart candles that are like $3 and some change. So I want to stock back up on my Bath and Body Works candles. I'm going to get my mom some and get us some. Last year I didn't get that many because we didn't have that much storage space when we lived in that apartment. But now that we're in the house and we have an actual pantry, I have somewhere to store more candles if I want to buy more. So I'm thinking I might try and get my mom maybe three or four. She doesn't burn candles like that really, but she does love them. So I think three or four of them will last her like all of next year. And then I maybe want to get us probably... 
maybe six candles for us yeah get her four and get us six so that'll be 10 candles so that'll be still about eighty dollars probably ninety dollars with tax so i need to save up my little coins for a little bath and body works shopping budget i did pick up some stuff for my mom at um target yesterday for christmas i got her two ava and viv shirts and I got her a bracelet, one of those bracelets I was showing y'all a couple of vlogs back. I never got it for her for her birthday. I ended up getting her something else for her birthday. But I'm going to give her one of those mother bracelets from Target for Christmas. And then I may go back and get one that says mother and daughter. I think she'll like that one too. And I also got my mom a hat. She really, really loves hats. So I picked her up this cute little hat. I'll probably show y'all uh, when I get some more stuff for her. I'll do like a video on what I got my mom for Christmas. Because my mom doesn't really watch uh, YouTube like that. So she's not going to see this video of it. So that's pretty much it. We got our little stuff for our Thanksgiving dinner as far as the groceries. And then we also got groceries uh, to have meals for today and tomorrow and Tuesday and then over the weekend we might eat out a little bit but of course we always cook on Sunday so that's pretty much it um I I'm about to paint my toenails and paint my nails I did cut them down so now I just need to paint them and um file them up a little bit with that I'm gonna pay file care system thing it works really good on my nails so I'm going to use that and get my nails looking right for the week and Hopefully, I can work on some more videos for this channel as well. I'm thinking about doing a beauty favorites because I recently picked up some things for my skin. And then I have some things here that I was already using uh, for my overall hygiene that I really like that I want to kind of do a video on. Like I have this lip scrub and just all kinds of stuff. So if y'all want to see that video, comment down below and let me know and give this video a thumbs up. And then um, some Thanksgiving vlogs are coming as well. So I hope that y'all are having a great day whenever you see this and I'll talk to you again in my next video. Bye.